A lot of you guys have experience selling, especially life insurance, maybe life insurance products, face-to-face, uh, -face, you know, door sales, maybe even virtual selling over Zoom or some kind of join me. Um, links on your computer, maybe not so much, um, you know, selling over the phone, right? So it's an art. It's literally an art. Um, so let's go over the most important part of the phone call is obviously going to be your introduction, right? Um, now, if you're watching this and you are struggling with phone sales and you're really looking to, you know, uh, I mean, not really blow it up out the gate, but at least have a fair shot, <laughs> right? Have a fair shot at, at being successful in selling final expense insurance over the phone. You definitely want to grab a pen and something to write with so that you can take notes because at the end of the day, I can give you guys, you know, the whole game plan. I'd give you everything, but if you don't apply it, you don't practice it, right? Knowledge is power, right? With application, not just knowledge is power. Knowledge is power when applied. So go grab something to write with and pause the video if you need to, okay? And the first thing that I'm gonna have you write down, because this is very important, is the word confidence, right? Man, I'm so tired of hearing about mindset. I'm so tired of hearing about motivation, you know, this, this, and that. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of hearing about how I need to improve um, my mental. And, and, and listen, the main thing for you to be successful in this business or selling anything over the phone is going to be confidence, right? You're the expert. You're the advisor to these clients. And it's very important that that confidence spews over, okay, on the phone to your clients because your clients are trusting you to protect their families, right? And if you believe in your product and what you do for a living, it is very key that you exuberate confidence during your conversations on the phone. How do you build confidence? Um, I can get into a whole nother, uh, a whole nother video about morning routines, um, music. There's tons of information, right? About positive affirmations. There's a ton of things that you guys can do to build up confidence. And I will highly recommend you guys look into that, right? But the main thing that I want I want you to focus on is, is this simple, 10 seconds to just breathe, right? Close your eyes and breathe before you jump on the phone. There's too many anomalies, too many variables that we deal with when we come into work. Um, you know, maybe your wife's stressing you, your kids are stressing you, your husband's stressing you, the bills are messing with you. Listen, leave that at home. And when you come to work, your clients deserve better. They deserve the best version of you. So take 10 seconds to breathe before you jump on the phones. Okay, seriously, it's gonna help you out. Like you guys have no idea. It's literally, you're shifting your mindset to focus on what matters the most in that moment of time. And that is making your dials, okay? Communicating effectively, right? We're selling over the phone. So you have to learn communication skills to communicate effectively. The second thing, Okay, to build confidence, to build on that is going to be role play. Super, super important that you role play every single morning. Okay, when Kobe goes out, RIP, right? He doesn't just start in the game with no practice, no warm ups, no drills, nothing, right? Tom Brady, you see him in, in the beginning of the game, throwing the ball, you know, throwing the ball. Golfers, a thousand swings a day, okay? So, what's different? from you being in, in your mindset to win at this, then some high level athletes, right? You have to practice, you gotta be in the field. You have to, you know, don't practice on your leads. You're paying for these leads probably. Don't practice on them. You know, it's game time when it's time to dial. So role play, role play, role play, extremely important in this industry, especially for phone sales. Every day you should be role playing. Um, and if you're managers and you guys aren't role playing with your reps, then shame on you. You know, I'm gonna say it right. A good place to start when you role play is just the introduction. Introduce yourself. Let your, you know, the other person pretend to be the client, um, and just follow through with it. Just, just get comfortable with introducing yourself. Um, when you ask them, you know, or, or you begin to explain who you are and what you do, because that should be in the, in the introduction of your script. Let, let the other person, you know, let them go through it. Okay. Don't give them rebuttals. Don't do anything like that. Another drill that we used to do, I mean, this is probably back in 2010, um, we used to get a chair and stand directly across from the other person 
and we would tell them literally to grab a pen. Extremely important when gaining control on the call, right? So the first five seconds is gonna be the most important because it's the first impression. And you need to come off as a confident person. You need to come off as the expert, the advisor, the authority. So another way to do that as well, and this is probably one of the most powerful things in telesales, and um, trust me when I tell you that, um, is getting them to grab something to write with, as I did at the beginning of the video, um, but a little bit more assertive than that, honestly. Um, because if you have trouble, uh, there, there's, a, there's a lot of logic behind it. I'll put another video out in the future explaining the logic behind it because there's a few different reasons why we do this. And one of those reasons is actually to get the time rebuttal out of the way. Once they get that pen and paper, they're committed, right? So standing directly across from your partner, put a chair down or something and, and grab a piece of paper and a pen, set it on the desk and say, go ahead and grab the pen and paper and let me know when you're ready. And you're gonna tell that directly to your partner, right? Directly in their face. They're gonna pick up the pen and paper, they're gonna look at you and they're gonna say, okay, I'm ready. I know it sounds silly, trust me, but you need to engrave this in your brain to where it becomes second nature that you're assuming that they're gonna go ahead and grab the pen and paper. You're assuming that they trust you as the expert, right? You're assuming their permission to move forward and you give off that energy like this is important, right? So again, the other person is just gonna pick up the pen and paper. Okay, I'm ready. They put the pen and paper down, right? And then you'll have them repeat it back to you. Hi, Joe, um, go ahead and grab that pen, and, that pen and piece of paper right there and let me know when you're ready. Literally, you're gonna do that 20, 30 times. I know it sounds crazy, guys, but if you really want to engrave that in your brain, have that skills and really, um, you know, make your percentage higher for engaging to have your calls lasting longer than two minutes. That's the kit. That's the trick. And that's the key. Okay. So thanks for tuning in. Um, those are just two very quick tips and tricks, um, especially in the importance of gaining control of the call in the very beginning of the call and stay on the lookout for the next few videos in the series. It might take a little bit of time. I just got a new camera, just got a new setup. Uh, and then I just started a new job with you guessed it. All right, guys, take care. Who you got? Hey, talking about that mainstream, mainstream, mainstream. Yeah.